Geminis, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a quick energy check-in reading for you. We're going to see what your person is feeling and thinking and what energy you could be expecting from them. When I was pre-shuffling for you, I kept getting the message that someone is helping your person hold back from you. They could be giving them bad advice. They could be jealous of you guys' connection. So we're going to see what comes out here. All right. So we have breakup, mixed feelings. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? We have missing you, triggered, had enough. We also have fighting it and still holding on. So this is a lot of energy here. This is not someone who don't want you anymore. This is someone who's trying to figure out whether they should reach out to you or whether they should let you reach out to them. This person is still holding on to you, Gemini, but we also have fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. And then we also have had enough. So I thought this person's had enough of you guys arguing or things being silent between the two of you. But we have triggered. So I feel like either you're triggered by something or your person is. This could be your energy coming out here where every time you think about what they did or what they said, it sort of makes you want to hold back and not come towards this person. Now we do have mixed feelings here and breakup. So if you guys broke up with someone, I feel like either your person has mixed feelings about the situation, wondering if you guys should stay broken up or if you guys should come back together and try to fix this. Or this is what you're feeling. We have indecisive, conflicting feelings on short of the relationship. This person knows that you're angry with them. We have timing, bad timing, waiting for the right time, patience is needed. And we also have differences and new beginnings. So for some of you, there's there was an argument. Maybe we are just too different to make the relationship work and then we have a new beginning. Let's forget about the past, take a chance and start again. So this is where the situation is headed. But we do have timing. This person may feel like the timing is not right to reach out to you and talk to you about something. And I feel like they could be getting some um, advice here where someone may be telling them just wait it out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? they need to know we have regret blocked some of you blocked this person and they they've figured it out it's like they went to reach out to you and found out that they couldn't get their message through we have feeling guilty remorseful wanting to undo the damage and we have the waiting game so this person was trying to make you wait on purpose and i feel like you may have blocked them i've been slow to return but maybe it's because i know you'll be waiting Maybe you're going to get a message from this person and the universe is saying, speak your mind. Don't hold back. Let this person know what you're feeling and thinking. It's important to do that. We have be bold and speak your mind. Expect to receive a message or a phone call. We also have unintentional. I never meant to hurt you. I'm not who you think I am. So this person is going to try to change your mind about um, what you're feeling they don't want you to have a certain impression of them or a certain impression about them. We also have friends. Friends know about it. Asking friends for advice, friends interfering. So yeah, there's definitely friends interfering here or this person has, um, doesn't have to be three friends. It could be one person that's interfering in you guys' situation. And I feel like they're listening to this friend. And they could be telling them not to text you, not to call you, but this person is wanting to so bad. They're fighting this energy. We have once you back, memories, and apology. I've never, I'm sorry, I never take you for granted again. I've learned my lessons. I am sorry. And then we have the memories we made together forever replay in my mind. So this is not someone who's given up on you. This is someone who is holding back on purpose or holding back because someone is telling them they should. So they're not 
um, they're not thinking, I'm hearing they're not thinking clearly. Yeah, we have gossip. This person is gossiping about you and you guys' connection. Whoever this is, whoever this friend is that's um, giving your person advice, we have everyone is talking about the relationship. People are jealous of your connection. So this could be someone who is jealous that this person um, talks about how much you love them or the things that you do for them or they already know this, like they've been around you two at the same time before. There are some jealous friends here that's trying to act like they're helping your person, but they're really not. We also have phone call getting closer and I can't stop thinking about you. We are aligning on the same frequency. So some of you may be having telepathic energy where you're thinking about this person at the same time they're thinking about you. It's like they can feel it. And so you may get a phone call or a message from someone. Yep, because we have the communication card here again. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know I don't. I don't know why I'm reading these cards wrong tonight. I know I don't say this enough, but I truly do love you. And then we have expect a message soon. They want to express how much they miss you. I'm just going to grab this next card because it says praying for better days. So this is not someone who wants things to be over. This is someone who thought that they could control the situation by not reaching out to you. And now it's like you're beating this person at their own game, Gemini. And so they feel like, okay, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's not fun <laughs> because Gemini is winning. Like Gemini is holding back from me just as much as I'm holding back from them. You know, I didn't want things to be this way. I thought I would have talk to Gemini by now or text them or we would have gotten over this or dealt with this in some type of way this person feels like there is something left unsaid there's still more for you guys to talk about and we also have stalking I often check on your social media to see what you're up to so just know whatever you're posting for those of you who've blocked this person they could be looking at your page through someone else's page if you're still friends with someone that they know. All right, so let's jump into the tarot. And let's see what else the universe has to say about you, Gemini, and this person. Share what messages do you have for Geminis? What do they need to know about their person? Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. This person's being sneaky. We have dishonesty. And sabotage, we also have the seven of pentacles. So this is someone asking themselves, should they continue to give to this? Because now this person feels like you're hurting them. Like their heart is breaking with the three of swords. They're trying to be patient, but I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like this person is gonna be able to continue to hold out on you. So expect to hear from them if you haven't already. Yeah, we have... The lovers, the page of swords, curious and gossip. Again, this person is just talking. You know what? I feel like somebody is saying to your person, did they call you yet? Did they text you yet? And I feel like they're not, if you block this person, they're not telling whoever this person is they're getting advice from. I feel like they're embarrassed to tell this person you block them. Could be a Gemini here. Could be another Gemini that you're dealing with. And we also have the six of wands. So this person has a lot of pride. And I feel like that's another reason why they're not reaching out. The Six of Cups. So there's a lot of nostalgic energy coming out here. Some of you could have known this person since childhood. Or you just have a lot of history with them. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you and how things were between the two of you. And they want it back that way, but they know that it may be difficult because of what they put you through. We have the hangman. Yeah, this person's not gonna let go of you. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you may be focused on your money or your person is. They may be trying to find a job. They may feel like they don't have... Um... If this person was having money issues, I feel like they're gonna get themselves together with the Ace of Pentacles here. There's a new opportunity either coming in for you or them. I don't know who this is for. Because we have the page of coins right next to the ace of pentacles. 
So the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have Letting Go, Fantasy, Sacrifice. So somebody is trying, it could be a Pisces here that's trying to let go of you and they can't. Um, I feel like this person feels, somebody here feels like if they get their money right, that you'll see them from a different perspective with this hangman. They feel like you'll want them more. This person may feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Or they may feel like you're holding back because of that reason. But I don't feel like it's because of that reason. I feel like it's because of something else. You may feel like this person is very, in, um, very inconsistent. And you're tired of that energy. But they think it's about what they can offer you. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Yep, two of swords. We have a lot of confusion here. And we also have the tower. So some of you got into an argument with this person. King of Cups reversed. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The tower energy. You're tired of arguing with them. But we have the star card here. So we have Aquarius energy where you and this person are still hanging on, both of you are still hanging on to the hope that this gets worked out. Maybe you could be dealing with a Capricorn here um, where they're hoping things start again with you. I was picking up some messages with this, um, the devil energy. If you're not dealing with a Capricorn, this person may have been saying that they're going to give up on you. And now they're deciding to hold on to you or they're not letting, they're not letting a friend or a family member, whoever this person is that they're getting advice from, they're not letting them know that they're still hanging on to you. They may be trying to act like they don't care. You guys went through something with someone who's trying to act like, oh, I could care less, but they care more than they're saying. It's showing in their energy. I feel like some of you got this person in a chokehold and you don't even know it. <laughs> you don't know, you don't even know how much this person um, wants this connection back or how much they think about you, Gemini. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What do they need to know? Yep, four swords. Recovery and healing. This is what they want. I bet this person is not ready to give this up. Two of cups, nine of swords. They're, they're afraid. They're scared that you don't want this anymore. This is how they're feeling behind the scenes. They just are not letting you know it with the two of cups here. And the sun. This could be a Leo for some of you. Or a Virgo. So some of you are dealing with a Leo. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. But this two of cups, this person still loves you. They still want this. Um, Sorry, I kicked the camera. I just feel like this person don't know how to act, though. This may be someone who argues with you all the time and then try to make up with you. And you may be tired of it. With this um, tower energy, Scorpio energy here as well. Yeah, we have the king of swords. For some of you, it's a... Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that's um, unstable with the Knight of Cups reversed. It's like you don't know what you're going to get out of this person. You're tired of the back and forth. This also, I feel like, is somebody, every time you guys get into an argument, they may say it's over. They may say they're done and then try to come back to you like a week later or a couple of days later. We have the Hierophant Reverse and the Ace of Cups. So you have a new love offer coming in. Some of you have already met someone new. And it could be a Taurus. But this person, um, if you guys met someone new and they were a Taurus, or you're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like they're non-committal, but they're going to come towards you and tell you they want to start this over again. Or... You're dealing with the Taurus and you meet someone new here with this Ace of Cups. There's a new love offer coming towards you. It's going to be different for everyone. So in order for you to find out what this is, you may have to get a private reading with this Ace of Cups. Because I don't know if this is 
um, a love offer with someone new coming in or a love offer from this person coming back around, starting something over with you. Realizing that they don't want this to be over. I heard somebody say, I didn't mean it that way. Or you took it wrong. All right, let's get a couple more. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What's what they need to know? Give me one more for Gemini. Oh, okay, somebody wants to talk to you. I say give me one more. And the universe gave me four. Well, I'm going to take this last one here. So you have five here. We have the five of cups, regret, depression. So somebody is regretting. There is a Leo here that's regretting something they did or said to you. Or they're regretting leaving you out in the cold with the five of pentacles. I feel like this person may be married though. Or they may be dealing with someone else. And they're trying to protect that situation so that you don't really find out much about it. They may be trying to come in and have something stable with you, but they still have a situation going on where it's up in the air. They don't know what they're going to do about it. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Gemini. Thank you for watching my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.